on a recent video, I did a minute on the mountain type shed hunt, and I also was searching for my long lost trail camera. Now that trail camera I had hung in the spring of 2020, March to be exact, uh, and I hung that trail camera up here in the mountains. I dropped the pin on my mapping software where that trail camera was at because it was definitely off the beaten path. Uh, I mounted it way high in the tree, and I left it. Uh, I came back about midsummer, and I could not find that trail camera. In fact, I went to the exact pin location uh, that I had marked on my map, and there was no trail camera there. Uh, I was starting to begin to feel uh, that the worst had happened. Uh, the trail camera probably had gotten stolen, although I'd taken precautions and mounted it up in the air. Uh, well, today is my lucky day. This is actually the third time back here to this mountain location, uh, and I found my trail camera. It was nowhere near uh, where that pin was dropped and uh, every time before this when I was searching for it uh, I was searching close to where that pin was uh, I'm probably a quarter mile from where that pin was I have no idea what happened there the good news is I'm gonna check to see what was on that trail camera I'm excited to see what's on that trail camera um, so let's see how long the batteries last maybe they only lasted 30 days maybe they lasted six months this is public land up in the mountains let's check out that trail camera and I'm gonna show you the footage of what I captured
So some pretty interesting footage. I enjoyed seeing the seasons change when I hung that camera there in March. Uh, there was hardly any leaf out yet at that point. No greenery. That really changed. The ferns down below uh, grew up a couple feet tall. Really interesting to see that change take place uh, over that time. Now at this point, this camera had been running three and a half, almost four months time. Uh, you can see in the last few clips I showed you there, there was something appeared on the lens. I don't know if it was an insect, a spider, uh, built a little bit of a nest or a different insect. Maybe it was a leaf. I couldn't tell, but there was a, definitely a large spot covering dead center of the middle of the lens. Uh, pretty unfortunate. The camera kept rolling, uh, even though it had that covering uh, over the camera lens. Another thing to take note, at this point it was in July, and the camera reset uh, its date and time. Uh, from then on, the date and time were wrong, and it actually reset a couple of different times. I'm figuring it was uh, a problem with low voltage. Uh, maybe the batteries were getting down just low enough that every now and then it would reset the time and date, go back to the default setting. This camera continued to work uh, for almost 10 months and it actually took video of me uh, the day I found it uh, coming up on it. So that's roll the second half of the videos. Keep in mind uh, that spot on the lens severely uh, hurt the quality of the videos, but towards the very end uh, where I actually find this camera, uh, maybe the rain washed that spot away, but it got better as we go. So enjoy the second half of the videos.
So there we have it, almost 10 months out on public land, trail camera untouched. It saw one uh, other person, or at least it captured one other person during that time. Lots of different critters from porcupine to fox, coyote, deer, turkey, many, many different wild animals. Uh, I'm impressed this camera lasted that whole time on one set of batteries. Now this wasn't orchestrated as being any type of advertisement. In fact, uh, as you know the story, I lost the camera and it should have never been out there that long, or at least I didn't intend it to be out there that long. Uh, this camera is a Vixxer HC300. Uh, I will say it is not uh, the most stunning video quality that you've ever seen or that I've ever used. Uh, there's definitely cameras out there that have a little bit better video quality, uh, but you cannot complain about its durability and the battery life. And that's something uh, when I reviewed this camera probably at least a year ago, maybe going on two years ago, uh, I did note at that time that the battery life was very, very good. This camera has turned out to be quite a workhorse. I've had numerous uh, cameras of this same model and they every one of them has done very well for me. Uh, like I said, the audio, they're very poor on it. Uh, the video quality is acceptable, uh, but the battery life and the durability uh, have been excellent on this camera. So I'm gonna put a link uh, down in the description if you are interested in Vixture HC300. Uh, there will also be a link to the original review that I did on the HC300. Uh, originally it came out as a 16 megapixel uh, camera. They have since did a firmware update. Uh, I don't think it actually changed the lens or any other um, components on the camera, but now they're getting 20 megapixel at it. And I actually did a uh, review of the differences between the 16 and 20 megapixel. Uh, I'll have a link also down there in the description. So check out the description. There's always a ton of information down there. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I try and get back to each and every one of you. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next video.